Hey, what's up everybody? It's Casey. We are redoing the intro to this video. My Nikon DSLR was not focused very well at all. Uh, so I wanted to make this a little bit nicer. But we are on to the build vlog portion of this uh, Symantec K2 rig. Uh, I'm gonna be splitting this into two parts. Uh, so here is the first part and here we go. As you can see behind me, I've got some of the pieces all laid out. I'll uh, take a look here. See if we can get this focused a little better. There we go. Got our stanchions, the seat mounts there, a little support cross member. That's our foot uh, pedal support. Uh, behind that is the steering wheel holder. Um, see my existing pedals, some other various pieces along the floor. Uh, mounting hardware in the back, upgrading that existing setup where we are just running on the desk. Uh, moving to a formal cockpit. Pretty excited about this. So I'm just going to set this up. It's going to be a kind of a vlog video. Um, and here we go. Alright, so it looks like hardware is labeled by section. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. This could be the section that I'll be taking to work so that I can get my adapter made. The uh, Malibu seat doesn't bolt directly to this, doesn't have the same uh, mounting um, hardware. Uh, it kind of has some teeth that would go in and lock down and then have a bolt in the rear. So I'll build in a bracket. I'm going to have one of my friends at work help me uh, build a bracket and then we are going to paint it match this. Just give it a little more pop and have a red flash on there um, before you get to the um, actual seat mounting hardware. If I wanted to do that, I wanted to make it where I can um, not damage this if I decide to upgrade to a traditional racing seat down the line. Uh, I'd like to keep it intact. Not cheap. I had to source this from Portugal. I don't want to make any unnecessary modifications, uh, especially anything that will hinder me down the line. I'm hoping to get many, many, many years of use out of this, especially with this great build quality. Uh, I'd like to be able to get it up to a direct drive wheel down the line. Um, Gamer Muscle, he's who I found this rig on. Uh, he used a direct drive wheel with it. It works great with it, so it's very well built, sturdy enough for that. Kind of part of why I chose this, so I still have an upgrade path without having to upgrade my rig. Really, the next upgrade from this would be extruded aluminum, and I didn't really want to go that route. I wanted something that looked a little bit nicer, a little bit cleaner. Um, still would be able to slide extruded, extruded aluminum, aluminum out of the way, um, but I wanted something to look a little bit nicer, play the part a little. We're on carpet. I want to be able to slide this thing out of the way easily. It's already pretty heavy. It's about 65 pounds of chipping. Granted, a small portion of that's the box, but the box really was not heavy at all compared to all of the hardware inside. Really cool that it comes with little mounting feet, though. Nylon threads in the bowl or in the nuts. Nice quality hardware. Everything's that real thick steel. Not anywhere near as thick as that shifting adapter. That one kind of blows me away how thick that is. I feel like that's sort of unnecessary, but at the same time, once you get into a bigger, nicer shifter, you got a little more weight you're throwing around and jamming on it pretty hard, so I understand it, but I feel like that one's a little bit overkill compared to the rest of it. Figure four. Be back B. That 
that's really clever, doing them in order. Cut my brackets here. That's what we're doing on this one, mounting these to the stanchions. So this should match up with these three holes there. All right, we'll get a few more minutes before it dies again. It does suck that the one part that's slightly damaged is gonna be up top. I mean, I say damage lightly. It's the tiniest scuff on the powder coating. Well, I guess for now, time being, we're gonna set it at the lowest position. We will make adjustments later on. Sure, we'll fit it just fine. It just looks so small right now. There is another bolt once I get it in its final position to go through right here and lock this down even more. So you get it in your get it the height you want it. Torque these down. It'll hold it in place, not going to slide around on you, and then you can get these into the sides. Make it really tight and secure. Gamer Muscle, he, once he was done, he stood on the steering wheel platform with his steering wheel on it. Crazy, impressive. So we're cooking right now. Take a quick look what we got so far. This is the front. A little bit of wobble wrangle. That's the two cross members not fully connected. We're moving. It's not as big as I thought it would be, which is a good thing. I was worried about it being too big. Um, this is in my bedroom, so I don't want it to be too crazy big. All right, next is these little slider rails. This takes the steering wheel in and out towards you. I like that a lot of the adjustments are easily done on the fly with these little hand screws. I uh, just finished up the build for what I can so far. Like I said, this is going to be done in sections. Um, I'll show you our progress, where we are, and kind of speak to a little bit of why I stopped where I did and why I omitted a few things. Um, along the way and then we'll kind of come back to this so I'll be wearing different clothing it's gonna be a different day um, we'll come back to this another day once I've gotten everything uh, fabricated that needs to be fabricated and painted and go from there uh, so first off here we have sorry for the jumping around switching uh, we have our rig this is kind of sort of mocked up to what we're gonna have um, there's the front section and the rear section that holds the seat. I did not connect the two together just yet. I skipped that step uh, in the manufacturing process or in the build. Uh, I need to be able to take this rear section with me. Um, this is going to go to my work with me. Uh, let's get this in focus. Uh, this is going to go to work with me. Uh, I need to have a bracket manufactured that will uh, allow me to use the existing mounting rails of this seat. I do not want to lose the power functions. Um, it's kind of one of the cool things on there. Um, like I said earlier, I've got it set up. I can hook up a little power supply. I have the power supply. Hook up a little power supply to that. And I have all of my power functions. Move the seat forward, back, up, down. Move the backrest forward and back. It's got lumbar support. I want to have all of that, um, get it in the right position, and then I can disconnect the power cord and not really use it again until people come over to uh, watch what I'm doing here. 
So um, that's why that's in two separate pieces. I need to be able to take that section with me to work, uh, have that adapter bracket uh, manufactured. Once that's manufactured, I will be having that painted. I am gonna have that painted to match this Symmetec cross member here. Feel like another splash of red be a good addition. Um, got a paint booth so we can do that. No big deal. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take that. That's why that one's not fully tightened down or fully torqued. Um, that will be removed here shortly so that I can take it with me and have that scanned for a paint match. Um, pretty excited about that and the fact that I even have that available to me as an option. Um, but anyway, here's the rest of the rig. That's where the steering wheel mounts to, right up there, the big platform. Uh, over here off to the right is um, where the shifter is going to mount to. And then there's a little bracket that mounts to the side of this that is for my handbrake. I do not have the handbrake just yet, and the handbrake bracket will stick out a little bit too far where I'm not going to be able to get this thing in and out of the closet like I wanted. Um, so we're leaving that off for now until I get that, and we'll kind of come back to that down the line. So I don't know how happy, uh, happy my wife's going to be if not getting this thing in and out. So, um, in and out of the closet, I should say. But that's where we are. Um, got the pedal tray, everything ready to go. I am not adding on any of my steering wheel, shifter, pedals, any of that stuff just yet to the rig. I want it to be uh, as easy as possible to get the seat on there and uh, get these two pieces mounted together. Uh, once I've gotten that wrapped up, then we will start putting all of my, uh, my hardware on there uh, and adjusting everything. The uh, steering wheel platform here does go up and down kind of at an angle here, um, has that vertical movement. You can see there's its adjuster, adjusters there. Uh, these little silver bars, that steering wheel plate goes uh, forwards and backwards. Uh, and you can also adjust the angle to it. Sorry if my hand's kind of blurry and in the way and annoying, um, is what it is. But right here, there we go. You can see that that adjusts, change the angle there. So that is where we are. We have done all that I can do. I could put the hardware on there, but I don't want to add any extra weight or make it any more cumbersome while I'm going to have that cross member removed and everything else. All right, guys, that's it. I will see you in a little bit. Uh, like I said, I'm going to have a wardrobe change. going to be a different day, uh, but we'll get everything finalized and finished up. Uh, that's it for now. So see you in a few.